Hi friends, it's time for class. We are still on our bug hunt. I wonder what bug we're gonna learn about today. Let's find out. What do you see? A caterpillar. Do you love caterpillars? Me too. They have soft bodies. They move in a wave-like motion. They are insects, so they have six legs. They have hairs all over their tiny bodies. They have two antenna, two eyes, but they can't see very well. Do you remember the dragonflies? Can dragonflies see very well? Yes, caterpillars cannot. Their eyes can make out shapes, but they don't see clearly. And what do caterpillars eat? Everything they can find. They eat mostly plants, but they eat and eat and eat, and they keep crunching and munching and crunching and munching and snacking all day long. They need to keep eating so that they'll grow and become something else when they are bigger. Do you know what a caterpillar becomes when it gets bigger? I heard some of you say it. You're right. Here's my big bag of bugs. Let me show you what this caterpillar looks like. There he is. Now this one has more than six legs. So little baby caterpillars will have things called prolegs, which are just extra legs that don't really work, but they help them stick to the leaves. They have six legs to walk along on. <laughs> there goes Mr. Caterpillar. I wonder what he's looking for to eat. I wonder if you can be a caterpillar. Do you remember our yoga bug book? Can you creepy crawl across the floor like a caterpillar? Move your body in a wavy motion? Try it, it's fun. I have this book, friends. It's called The Crunching, Munching Caterpillar. Let's say that together. The Crunching, Munching Caterpillar. What do you think this crunching, munching caterpillar is going to eat? Let's find out. This is a book by Sheridan Kane and Jack Tickle. Oh, here we go. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks, he crunched and munched his way through the fresh, juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. Mmm. One day, Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when crunch, munch, crunch, munch. Zzzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings. Look. Oh, I like some of those, said Caterpillar. Bumblebee flew into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. Bzzz, 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 bzzz. I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, sighed Caterpillar. Bzzz, zoom. Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry. So he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Crunch, munch, crunch, munch. Yawn. Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared into the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when Sparrow landed beside him. Sparrow? I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. 
Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be as light as the dandelion clock that floats on the breeze. You're far too fat to fly. Your legs are for walking. I guess so, said Caterpillar gloomily. Caterpillar carried on crunch munching all day until the light began to dim. Crunch munch, crunch munch. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar, but I'm too fat and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret knowing smile. Who knows? Perhaps one day you will fly like me, light as a feather. But now, little caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, Caterpillar slept all through winter, and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall trees. He dreamed he was a dandelion clock drifting toward the sun. He dreamed he was light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up, he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched. Let's let Caterpillar stretch. Help him stretch. Stretch your arms. Stretch, stretch your arms. Stretch them out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings. Great. Big, wonderful butterfly wings. Wow, said young butterfly. I'm flying. I'm really flying. Wasn't that a great story? Were you right? Did you guess that Caterpillar was going to turn into a beautiful butterfly? He did. So beautiful. Look at those colorful wings. This looks like a monarch butterfly. That's one of the most popular kind of butterflies that you'll see. And they are orange and black with some white spots. There are so many different kinds of butterflies and caterpillars. What kinds of things did the caterpillar eat? Leaves from a blackberry bush? And then he got very tired and sleepy and wrapped himself up. Can you put your arms around yourself like you're giving yourself a hug? Wrap yourself up like you're a caterpillar getting really sleepy. Do you know what it's called when the caterpillar goes inside and creates a little sleeping bag for itself? A cocoon or a chrysalis. You're right. Can you say chrysalis? Chrysalis. Good. That's kind of like a sleeping bag that the caterpillar creates when it's sleeping there through the winter. And it's growing and growing and changing. And then when it comes out, it's a butterfly. Isn't that exciting? Do you know what this caterpillar's name is? It's the very hungry caterpillar from the author Eric Carl's book. I have that book too and I'd love to share it with you. Do you know some of the things that this caterpillar ate? Let's find out what happens in the story. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg? There it is. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. 
but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wasn't that a great story? Do you remember what the caterpillar ate? Let's think. He ate through one apple, two, Pears, three, plums, four, strawberries, five, oranges, and then how many pieces of food did he eat through on Saturday? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces of food on Saturday. That would give you a tummy ache. And then he went from a little caterpillar to a great big caterpillar. <laughs> he wrapped himself up in his cocoon or chrysalis. And after he had done all of his growing, he stretched and stretched and came out as a beautiful butterfly. Great job helping me count those pieces of food. How many things will you eat for a snack today? Maybe two or three things? Probably not 10. But you can count what you eat. Maybe if you have goldfish crackers, you can count your goldfish. Or if you have cut up grapes, you could count those pieces of grapes. Or raisins. Or what other pieces of fruit do you like? I love apple slices and clementines. Let's count some more. I have a big bunch of butterflies in here and I wanna see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. One little butterfly 
signal alone. She flew away and then there were nine. One little butterfly looking at you. She came to play and then there were two. Two little butterflies flying through the trees. One came back and then there were three. Three little butterflies flying by the door. One came to play and then there were four. Four little butterflies flying by the hive. One joined in and then there were five. Come back tomorrow to see what our last bug of the week is. I'm I'm